I'm Gabriela Carrizo. I'm a choreographer of La Visita, which is the winner of the Fedora and Van Cleef and Arbels Prize 2021. First of all, it was um, by the space, I mean, to be invited to create in Collezione Maramotti. It, it was something uh, that I wanted to make a project in another space that is not a theater, in, in a museum. Then is um, a lot of things, you know, always in, in a creation process you have a lot of starting points that are very instinctive. And then how develop in the in the process is very organic with the dancers, the actors. With Pippin Tom we created a trilogy and, and one it was Mudor. Uh, it was already this uh, space of a museum, a space of memory of a family. And I work with uh, these key characters like the guard of the museum, the cleaning ladies. And for me this it was something I wanted to also to bring here in La Visita. So to to take these characters who belong you know, to, to, to a performance uh, and to bring them in, in, in this real space, also with the workers of the museum. The fact to not to make them to play a character or somebody else, but to really play who they are, what they do every day. I was very happy that they accepted to, to, to be there and to, you know, to, it's not easy, I mean, suddenly to, to be in front of a public, to integrate in the, in the piece and to, and to show them in, in, a, in a beautiful way, you know. Yeah, it was the first time for me, no? We always are in, in a theatre, so in everything is normal. Huh? The audiences stay in a place, you have the stage, you have a view, a frontal view. Here, this challenge of, you know, not knowing how the public or to move or you prepare something to see in a certain way, but then, of course, the public itself choose how to see in another way. And for me, what it was a challenge is also how to enter in dialogue with the people there who work there, with the space, with the artwork. And, and I was very happy in, in, for, in this challenge, you know. Now for La Visita, I would like to develop to see, okay, what it works, what it doesn't work for me, what, how we can develop to, to even show in another museum. But they are things they are especially for Colección and unique here. And this, two sides is very important. Also in general for us sound is very important. You can see the images but the sound add another layer, you know, how you can go in different dimensions with the sound. You can present an image but the sound make you go in another state of, of thinking. If the museums were closed or we will close forever, what will happen with this artwork after a while? If they have their, their own life and they, they don't have this contact with the public anymore. So this idea of losing the colors and, 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 and leaking is related also with the, the idea that they have their own life. So the sound also is present in this way. Well, I'm from Argentina, so I started dancing uh, young. And I have the chance to have education uh, already in dance, but theater, music. And for me, of course, the big influence was uh, Pina Bausch. I mean, uh, not one, one line to put the, the human before the profession or as a dancer, is there, you know? So for me, it was this. And then, of course, I came to Europe and then I worked with Alain Platel and, and then also a way to develop your, your own language. And then I meet Frank Chartier and we create Pippin Tom and then, yeah.
But this prize, uh, I think, is very important. Like all the supports that in, in arts we can we can get, you know, it's about that. Is to is to to support to to go deeper in what we want to do, you know, to achieve things that can touch people. When you are a creator, you doubt a lot. So it's an encouragement to to go farther in yourself and to for the people, you know, for for the others. So I think this kind of supports uh, are essential.